Hey guys, this video is going to be an update video on the first day of the 2007 servers, covering what actually happened. The video in the background is me training at Rock Crabs. Here are some progress screenshots showing how I got to where I am now. Now when the servers first came up and I logged in, I was actually too excited to figure out there was an NPC called Skippy, who if you talked to would let you skip to Tutorial Island. Stupid me, but it was actually really fun running through the nostalgic newbie tutorial. At the combat side of Tutorial Island, I got a tip off from a friend that an NPC gives you arrows, which was explained in my last video. Turns out, it doesn't work, so I wasted some time grabbing arrows just for them to be taken away once I left the island. Brilliant. Finally, I was on the main island, RuneScape. So I started off my pure adventures, a pure range, only to realise that 20 seconds later I'd hit my first issue. I had no bloody arrows, and with no gold to my name, I had to put off combat to start skilling. This is when I started to fletch and woodcut, for some starter gold of course. However, normal logs and arrow shafts sold for nothing. I was having a tough time. Then it struck me to go and feed from men. This was free gold a time. Not the best money, but income at last. I feed from the men until 20 thieving. Then it was to Ardung, Ardugni, well, however you pronounce it, I headed there. Silk. This has proven to be one of the best incomes in the game right now. 27 silk sells for 1,680 gold to a trader, but you must wait 15 minutes after you have stopped thieving to sell it to the trader. Merchants found out about this and started their very own business in the world too, where they would buy your silk for 1,400 gold and sell it for 1,680 gold to the trader, so you don't have to wait for the cooldowns. It may sound stupid, but 200 gold for nothing is brilliant money in a moneyless economy. I finally made enough for a few thousand arrows, and it was time to finally train range. After a few hours of training my range at Zombies in Varak Sewers, I had lost all of my arrows, so it was time to head back to Silk and earn more money for more arrows. This was becoming a pain. After yet again depleting all my arrows, I knew it was time to get my Avis Accumulator. So I started to get the requirements. The Slayer, no problem. Crafting, no problem. The Woodcutting, no problem. Try to purchase the required Mithril Hatchet, problem. After yet again thieving from the silk store, I finally had enough money to try and purchase a mithril hatchet. 20k was the price I was trying to purchase it for, but it seemed no one had or did not want to sell one. Either way, I couldn't get one. After hours of trying to purchase this damn mithril hatchet, I finally gave up and started to range again. Later that night, someone was selling a mithril hatchet. Naturally, I sprinted towards him shouting, take my money, and he did. He sold me the hatchet. I could finally do the quest for the Avers. After a long time running around in circles, the quest was finished and I had my Avers accumulator. Oddly enough though, this was the time people started to sell magic shorts. So again, back to Ardy to steal silk. When I finally bought my magic short bow, I headed back to Rock Crabs to train more range in hopes to reach 60 to wear blue dragonhide. That's if anyone would be making it of course. Which brings me exactly where I am now in the video. I'm not sure if I really was the first to get Ava's Accumulator, but I've not seen a single other person with one, so that makes me feel good for sure. Anyways, how was your adventures? Had it been going as rough as mine, or had it been going much better? I'd love to know. Leave a comment, I'll be reading them all. See you later guys, have fun playing. Ooh, 57 range.